Tell me when. When? Okay, we're here with uh, Dan Creech and Lee Miracle. Kind of a, a situation that probably would never happen if it wasn't for ESPN here. Got the cross country guy to my right, the motocross freestyle uh, TT explorer. <laughs> He's done it all in that end of the area on my left. Dan Creech, who's uh, who can win this qualifier? I think anybody can win this qualifier today with the mud we have out here. It's not only best rider, it's a matter of luck here today. You said mud, and I, I know on my right here somebody just cracked a smile because he's pretty damn good in the mud. Do you think uh, the cross-country guy might have a chance because it's a little wetter and muddier? Well, I think it gives the cross-country guy a little bit better of a chance, but uh, everybody's experienced rider out here, and it's going to be anybody's game, so, you know. It's still ATV racing. Yeah, it's still You know, people have ridden in the mud. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's it been like out here? We didn't get a chance to talk to you. Does the ESPN come and uh, interview you and stuff? And just, uh, I've never done any interviews. I've been around seeing a lot. It's been a cool experience. It's uh, definitely been different. I'm glad to see it all happen for the sport and everything. And the track's been cool. And mm-hmm. it's good. It's good to be out here just uh, shooting the bull with everybody, and getting right on the track and playing around in the practice and stuff. And I normally don't get to ride with all these guys and always get to just watch them uh, then on the side of the track. But it's been it's been fun. Right on. Hey, uh, of all the extraordinary things that ESPN's done, I know you've walked around, had a chance in the pits. I mean, what stands out that really you're impressed with most? Uh, water jump is pretty cool. Never hit a wooden ramp before. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, good luck, man. We'll finish up with uh, Dana here, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, John. Dana, any uh, comments from you on, on uh, what happens yesterday in your heat race? What, I don't know what happened. Uh, my header broke off. I got a bad start, and then my header broke a couple laps into it. Okay. I ended up pulling off so I could salvage my motor instead of blow it up. That's very smart. So you all fixed and ready to go? Yeah, I'm good to go today. Were you able to rob some more to test it, make sure everything's good? Or? Yeah. All right, cool. cool. All right, brother. Good luck, man. Thank you. Good luck. All right, here we are with Kevin Smith from Utah. He's a billion rider, last uh, minute. Last, last minute person that uh, got to get this incredible event. Let's uh, get right to the point. There's two red flags in the, in the, in the second heat. We were involved in both incidents. What, what happened? Uh, the first one, I came in and uh, Dustin Wimmer stalled, kind of got stuck in the rut. And I, I hit him and then got hit. And the second one, Jeremy Shell got stalled in the rut again. The ruts were super deep. I went to the outside of it. Okay. And uh, Johnny Gallagher hit me from the rear. So locked up. Yeah. So now I'm in the LCQ. But there was two two red flags. Well, they restarted the first time, but not the second time. Not the second. They only gave one red flag. Well, why do you think they restarted? Right? But was there? Because there was more people in the first oh, one. Okay. That's like five. Blocking the track. Okay. All right. Hey, well, we wish you all the luck. And no matter what happens, you're you're here, and this is one incredible place to be. So. You've already made it, you know what I mean? You've already, uh, they say you've already won a gold medal just by being here. So we congratulate you and, good, and wish you good luck. Thank you.